After Effects is a very popular software. Wherever you go, you will be sure to hear about it. You might be wondering if it is worth it for you to spend time on it and learn it. Today, we will explore just that. Let's jump right into it. After Effects, initially developed in 1993 by Koza, is a digital art software now owned and developed by Adobe Inc. The software is mainly used for visual effects, compositing, animation, and motion graphics. After Effects is available on both Windows and Mac OS. The cost of After Effects is anywhere between roughly $21 to $53 a month, all dependent on the plan that you choose. Adobe After Effects is a digital editing software used for three main purposes, which are visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing. For the visual effects side of things, the software has an array of powerful tools and features. Add in light coming from a window, muzzle flashes, and atmosphere effects are only some of these visual effects that you can do in the software. These effects are achieved using a plethora of tools, such as masking tools, motion tracking, camera tracking, match cutting tools, roto brush tool, clone stamping tool, and much more. There are plenty of other tools in the software that do much more than we mentioned here. As for motion graphics, they are the highlight of the software as After Effects is the industry standard in motion graphics. After Effects can animate text by transforming it in several ways and add in other effects to it, such as making it disappear, float, explode, and evaporate. The software can create dynamic collages, kinetic typography, glitch effects, isometric animation, vintage-looking motion graphics, seamless transitions, and many other effects. Compositing is another trick up After Effects sleeve. After Effects can do amazing compositing work in filmmaking, TV shows, and video games by providing a plethora of compositing tools. For instance, the software has countless color correction effects such as auto color, auto contrast, auto levels, curve, equalize, among many others. Grain is another effect to make your comps look realistic. Other tools for the same purpose are color tint, camera lens blur, and blending modes, such as dissolve, darken, multiply, color burn, and so many more. If you have noticed, After Effects has many tools that can overlap and be used to work on different things, whether for compositing or motion graphics. You just need to know your tools and your software well enough to achieve them. After Effects is considered the industry standard in motion graphics. When it comes to visual effects and compositing, After Effects is surpassed by Nuke and Natron, for example. This does not mean that you can't use After Effects to create visual effects. Far from that, you more than can. Heck, it's even in the software's name. It's just not what the industry uses, simply. What the industry uses in After Effects is motion graphics in creating title sequences and closing credit sequences. A popular example of After Effects being used in movies is its use in the creation of the HUD effect in John Favreau's 2008 Iron Man. The HUD itself was then composited into the shot using Nuke. In addition, After Effects is also widely used in social media content creation. Having intimate knowledge and expertise in After Effects can play a huge role in landing you a job in a creative field. After Effects is known for its versatility and for covering such a huge range of creative fields. A lot of creatives from different fields all use After Effects primarily. After Effects is one of those software that you can easily learn everything about using the free sources you find online. YouTube is a well of knowledge when it comes to After Effects, whether for short focused videos or long and in-depth videos, two videos for professionals and others for beginners. You'll find it all. The resources that help you learn this software are abundant. Although developed and released 29 years ago, After Effects still gets regular updates and work done. For instance, the latest update was about a month ago, May 2022, and included many new features such as separated dimensions preferences, frame I.O. integration, and binning indicators for 3D layers. The perks of having a subscription instead of a perpetual license is that you will always have an up-to-date software with the latest features and tools. Now that we have gone through most of the points that determine whether a software is worth learning or not, it's very important to know that the right question here is whether After Effects is right for you. 
Take the previous points we presented and think about what you want from the software, where you are skill-wise and where you want to take your creative journey. This should be the defining factor in whether or not the software is worth learning for you. As usual, we have reached the end of our video. We hope you learned something new today with us that helped you. Make sure to check out our other videos about After Effects in this series to learn more. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.